Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. I'm sorry that we've had to delay certain things that we're going to be covering today. You know, things like uh, the Golf Lafleur Levi's collaboration, the uh, Supreme North Face collaboration. I have to put those on hold for a second because in today's video, we're going to be unboxing the Supreme Spring Summer 2018 Washed Work Trench Coat. <laughs> yes guys the grail hunting gang comes through i mean that's just me isn't it i just i scour the depths of grail to try and find old season steals that people no longer want anymore but i've been watching for ages and i've been like you know what i didn't buy it when it first came out because it was a little bit expensive and you guys now no longer want it because it's out of season but i'm over here copping it for steals <laughs> that's me I've, I've come back again to unbox and purchase a Supreme Washed Work Trench Coat in the floral colorway. Yes guys, so um, as we know, uh, Supreme loves to do its fair share of wild pieces. Uh, a good example of that recently is uh, Supreme released a military trench coat as part of its Spring Summer 2020 collection. Uh, it came in a bunch of colors. We, co we covered it a couple weeks ago when it dropped. It came in black. Uh, this orange with this paisley um, colorway on it and this olive green with this paisley color on it. Essentially, Supreme releases pieces where there's a couple colorways that are neutral, toned down, not really too crazy. You'll barely even notice they're Supreme. And then on top of that, it'll also drop some colorways of the same piece in some wacky wild colors that you definitely know is Supreme. And in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing exactly that. I'm going to be unboxing one of the wacky crazy wild colorways of a trench coat they released about actually two years ago actually yeah over two years ago it's pretty pretty crazy two years ago so very keen to unbox it i've had my eyes on it for a while and it's actually quite a hard piece to come by there is none of them available on StockX. the last time i checked they're like all sold out um they're even on grailed they rarely turn up they're probably selling on a bunch of like reselling stores like local stores but honestly i'm finding it quite hard to find the actual piece and when i saw it in an extra large on grailed uh it was at a pretty reasonable price it was about one and a half times the retail price um and it i just I, I never see it it never props up in extra large it was in really good condition uh and the, yeah heaps of people were like like me were following it they're like yeah damn okay yeah nice so i got it for a really good price the shipping was a little bit expensive but that's australia man that's just australia australia has horrible shipping um and yeah i might as well just get to it just might as well unbox it to you guys uh, i'll show you what the piece actually looks like and then i'll also also show you how i'm gonna style it as well now if you want me to do more unboxings on the channel don't forget to leave this video a big old like if you want more coverage of supreme don't forget to comment in that comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we're trying to hit 2200 subs by the end of may Hopefully we can do it. I think we do. We can do it, guys. We can definitely reach that goal, but let's get to it. Let's unbox this floral trench coat. Let's get in it, guys. Let's get in it. So I'm actually quite amazed. And when I actually got the post, uh, the actual box, it says denim coat. I was really confused. I was like, when did I order a denim coat? And how does how did anything that I ordered that, of that size, like a denim coat, how did that fit in such a small box? So whoever shipped this is the master of shipping because he must have been able to squish it down into a uh, pretty small box here. But honestly, props to him because it saves uh, money on shipping. <laughs> but yeah, no, let's get into it. Let's have a look at this piece. Uh, what I liked about it was is that it's a piece that um, is made from a material that isn't traditionally uh, used for trench coats. You know, trench coats are mainly uh, more woolen type materials and not denim. So I thought this was really cool because it's going to be really lightweight, but also just really unique as well. So let's pull it out of the box. Um, do you see what I mean? <laughs> it looks like a blanket, doesn't it? Hold on, we'll just get it out. We'll get it undone. Oh my god, this is massive. Damn. Okay, let's get a coat hanger on this boy so I can actually do like a nice view of it. Okay, so. Bam. This is what it looks like. Huge, huge piece. Bam. That's it there. Spinning it around. We can see the pattern continues all over it. It's quite large, quite colorful, quite crazy. If When I'm wearing this in outfits, I'm going to be wearing it 
as the talking point. As the because I mean, look how loud it is. I don't want anything else on the outfit conflicting with this piece because I want this to be the vocal point. This to be the talking. point. It's not going to be for everyone. I know there's going to be a bunch of people in the comment section that are definitely not feeling this piece because it's just a little bit too bright, a little bit too crazy. But personally, I just loved the overall print all over it. Uh, I really liked its style and it's just really unique. Like name one other brand that does something like this. Name of a brand that does it with denim. You know, when has a brand released something like this? That's what I really liked about it. It was just super unique. It doesn't inherently scream supreme unless, you know, because I'll be covering that when I wear it. I mean, that is kind of obvious, the Iconic Supreme logo there, embroidered as well, but apart from that, you can barely even notice that it's Supreme. I think it's an awesome piece. Um, I'll show you now how I'm going to style it for summer. We'll start off with summer, and I'll show you how I'm going to style it for that season. This is how I would go about styling it for summer. I'm keeping it really, really washed out on the jeans. White tee, little white tee button, oh sorry, tucked in because this is a draping piece, right? This is a piece that's going to be hanging down low. It's going all the way down to basically my thigh. It's a big ass piece. And I am about 6'5", 6 6'6", 6 6, and it's an extra large. As you can see, it goes down to exactly where it needs to though. It goes down to halfway down my thigh, which is like perfect for a trench coat. I don't, as I said, don't want anything conflicting with this. I want this to be the talking piece. I want this to just be pretty unnoticeable, pretty unnoticeable and then noticeable. Now it's going to be the same with the sneakers in summer. Definitely. If I'm going to wear this, I'm going to wear it with uh, Chuck 70s, you know, black Chuck 70s. I'm probably going to wear it with white Air Jordan 1 lows. You know, look at that. That'll be a sick fit. Maybe if I want to combine the red here and the white here, I might go some Chicago Jordan 1s. But apart from that, keeping it pretty neutral, keeping it pretty chill, Thinking Converse Chuck 70s might be the drill, but I think this is a super steezy piece. Super unique. Not many people are going to... I mean, there might be some people out there that really like it, but I think it's a super steezy piece. Uh, one that just doesn't turn up too much on the resale market, or even just in streetwear in general. Like, I, I, I don't reckon you'd be able to find too many images of people wearing it on Instagram, people just wearing it in general. This, super unique, super artsy. Love it. Super steezy piece. But, um... I'll show you now how I'm gonna approach it if I'm gonna wear it in winter as well. So winter vibes, it's cold, it's rainy. Ideally, you're probably just gonna wanna wear it with some darker stuff. So I've gone with all black fit, no colors to, you know, I mean, there's a little graphic here. I could even wear it with like a full black hoodie just so it doesn't have any details at all. But really, again, I want this piece to be the talking piece. You know, when you say hello, you see this, you see this, I want everything to be black, it's colder so we've got more layers, we've got a hoodie on this time to wear it with, and it's going to be more like this as a vibe. As for sneakers that I can wear with it, I might consider going bread ones, bread ones might be the vibe, although the red doesn't really work out with that red, so it's kind of like, uh, I don't know. Um, the Chicago's might be another vibe, we might go Chicago's again. Um, size 16 slash US 17. We don't got too many options here, fellas. But also, just really quickly, we could just go some cons. Just some worn, you know, distressed cons, canvas material, denim sort of canvassy. We could go, we could do it, we could do it. Keep it nice and simple, basically black all the way through, and then have this do the absolute talking in winter. You know, who says winter is not allowed to have some bright colors to it? I think we can go a little bit crazy, a little bit wild with this fit and do something like that. But even with the hoodie, an extra large, six foot five, about 110 kilos, trying to go down to 105. You know how it is, fellas, getting a bit too big in this ISO period, but trying to lose the kilos. I think it still fits. Extra large is perfect. Wouldn't want to go a large. It'd probably be a bit too small, but perfect, perfect fit. Not too baggy on the sleeves. It's good. It's a good vibe, man, but this is definitely how I would style this kind of piece in winter. And that's all I've really got for the unboxing of it, guys. This is the Spring Summer 2018 Supreme Washed Work Jacket in the floral colorway. The other colorways were very toned down. They didn't feature this print from memory. Uh, as soon as I saw the piece in the 2018 lookbook way back in the day, I was like, bruh, 
that is a vibe that is a sick piece i'm gonna be trying to wear in this more in summer but uh, you know uh, if you know what it is now it's heading into autumn i might be able to get away with this for autumn but i just think this is a super steezy piece uh the guy was even kind enough whoever shipped it off to include a supreme motion sticker and another sticker as well i think that's sick i think that's awesome i uh, i know a lot of you guys probably aren't going to be feeling this piece you probably don't like it it's probably a bit too loud for you totally fair we've all got our tastes and preferences I was just a huge fan of it because it's super unique. The trench coat, love my trench coats. You wear them with hoodies and stuff like that. They're a sick outwear piece. Um, it was made from an unconventional trench coat material because of like denim trench coats. I know denim jackets, I know denim shirts, but denim trench coats, it's a new vibe. It's a new vibe. I, I love it. I think the colors are sick. Don't know if I'll be wearing it as much as I want because it's loud. You know, it's a piece you break out every now and then. But it's just all around. It's a piece I love. I love the colors to it. Super unique. As I said, it rarely ever comes up. So when I saw it in an extra large, I was like, bro, on my birthday, have to buy it. So I bought it for my birthday. Obviously, my birthday was on May the 9th, but it arrived a lot later. What date is it today? Coronavirus B. Oh my God, it's the 20th. <laughs> so 11 days later, you know what? That's okay. 11 day, uh, oh, 11 day out of date birthday present. That's all right. That's all right. It's still a vibe. I absolutely love it. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on it, guys. Would you pick this up if you had the chance? How do you feel about it with my styling of it? What's your thoughts and opinions? I love it. I'm going to keep it. It's going to be one of my pieces in my wardrobe. I think it's a super steezy piece, but I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Now that wraps up the video guys, so make sure to like this video if you want me to do more unboxings on the channel and include the styling with it. I mean, honestly, I can just unbox it for you guys, but if you want me to include the styling, I can do that as well. Uh, that has been the Spring Summer 2018 Supreme Floral Trench Coat. Um, honestly, good luck to you if you want to pick one up now, because I don't know where you would pick it up from. But I love this piece. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 2,200 subs by the end of May. We're on track. We're doing really, really well, guys. So thank you to everyone that's been subscribing recently. You've, you've been awesome. We need, we're need. we trying to aim for 2,200. I think we can do it. But that's everything I've got to say about this trench coat, guys. So until the next unboxing video, until the next Supreme video, until the next streetwear video, guys, I'll catch you later.